Okay, I'm dual carrying. Calm down. I'm just gonna. I'm here to deposit the gun. Can you go in the bar? Go in the bar. Jesus. All right. There's no need for it. Everything that's here, you you guys know damn well, is that this place is a shell of what it used to be because you guys came through here. One thing has to be clear: this place goes untouched. All right. So so what do you want to do over the end? Yeah, he's down. He's down. We got him. Here, here's a dead UN one. Can we all agree that the UN is our common enemy now? We start focusing on them? Oh, yeah. De definitely, yes. What about you back there in the, in the blue raincoat? What's, what's your story? Whoa. Hello, boys. How you doing? We made it. How's it going? It's quite a trip. Um, alright. So, the dealio is I'm the only one here at the moment because it's really not safe uh, to be here in this area when we've just broadcasted that over the radio. The sort of attacks of the UN and the Rangers on Green Mountain itself has been pretty heavy. So, um, I don't know if you want to bring the truck down, but the rest of the boys are sort of held up in pog down there. I don't really know if it's safe to stay here for any longer than we than we should stay. We should probably get out of the area because of the uh, the the rumors the rumors spread uh, from Andonite's deal with the devil have ev have like escalated to the point where it's really not a good time to be friends with us. So, uh, I, I want to have the chat though, so I don't know if you guys want to join me on the, like, in a safer place to speak down there. The yeah, 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 we can go, uh, we can drive down to Pog, that's fine. But that's exactly what I wanted All to right. talk to you about. But we'll do it down there. Okay. Yeah, okay. Bring the truck down, I'll meet you down there. Yep. Alright. 
How's it going? Good evening, boys. Good morning, I should say. Very true. Uh, you guys kind of downgraded, don't you think? Yeah, I know. But it's troubling times. You have to make the efforts. Yeah, that's for just, sure. Just certain people. Okay. So would you like to open up with the first topic of... Well, let's start with the elephant in the room. The deal with the cults. Yeah. Anzanite's Leather Emporium. As you can see from my backpack, Anzo's been like collecting leather from all kinds of like livestock. And in the cult's case, uh, human flesh. But that was Anzo's doing. We're not really anything to do with this. We're just sort of his escort so you can... Uh, Sort of sell his wares safely, but uh, we we're not really anything to do with this. I mean, if he if he trades, <laughs> if he trades with the cults, then that means you guys get associated with them, right? Yeah, that, that's that's what that's what's happened anyway. We've been associated with it to the point where the, there was a rumor. Well, it's not actually a rumor, but Anzo. Uh, went a bit off the rails, ate, ate some human meat, and went a bit crazy. But then that, that escalated to the point where now everyone thinks we've joined them, and we're all cannibals, but we're not, which is completely ludicrous. But how, but how are you allowing this to happen in the first place? I mean, like, like you have to distance yourself from him, because otherwise people are just going to associate you with that, and everyone's going to turn against you. I mean... Yes or can, and we will. It's just, it's just difficult. You need to understand it's difficult. But uh, we're definitely not going to join him in any sort of things that are that dark. No, but you know what I mean. Like I understand he's part of your, of your group. But like, yeah. When you do stuff like that, it means you put the group in the exact same danger. He has a responsibility. He can't just go out and do deals with the cults and then eat human meat because that reflects badly on all of you guys. And look at where it's taken you. You're you're stuck in this shithole compared to the beautiful town right there. True. I don't Very think true. the deal with the cult was was really is that that bad. No, but the, the people don't see that. If you work, if you do deals with the cults, then it means you're with the cults. If you're with the cults, you're, it you're doesn't getting... Know. It's just them <laughs> yeah, talking shit. Yeah, it's just business. Oh, no, yeah, business is not... It's, it's just... It's, I don't know. It's, it's, it's taken so out of context with the whole cult thing. Like, I, like, it's not so bad. The things that we did, like we did especially, were nothing compared to what Anza did. And then on top of that, nothing compared to what the cult did. But it can't be taken so out of context that the... The UN and the, the Rangers and stuff just, they just, I don't know, they just seem to make out that we're so much worse than what we actually did. Well, and it, it just sort of plants a seed in everyone's mind that we're awful people. Well, what are you guys going to do to clear your name with everyone else then? Because right now, I mean, <laughs> everyone is siding with there's, the UN no even option. after the bombing. I know, that's what, I know. We're stuck in this situation where no one believes any word that we say even though even though UN could bomb somewhere but oh yeah everyone sides with them that makes that makes a whole lot of sense to be honest well I think I, you should have just it's not fair you should have just made your point in the first place that the whole reason why you were attacking them is because you were not malicious the reason why you're attacking them is because you were paid the person who was being malicious was Johnny but he isn't around to take the we, blame we, for we it we made that we made that we made that very very clear from the start but no one believed it. The guardians and the firekeepers were just like, "No, the GMN, you're way, like, you're just as much to blame as Johnny, even though he was the one with the malicious intent." Like we were just paid 
sort of gunman just to go along with him. But we never really actually committed any sort of crime there. We just were there as escorts. But no, no, no. We we were shown in a different light where we were the murderers, and Johnny Johnny just pranced off into the shadows again. He's just disappeared again, and we we're left with this aftermath. Here's what I'm thinking. I'm thinking I'm gonna arrange a meeting with the leader of the Firekeepers, Tex. Who's the leader of the Guardians? Uh, Kyle, Kyle Payton, I think his name is. Alright, I'll sit down with them in a room. And I'll ask them to talk terms. And I'm thinking at this point, we can perhaps get Bastier to show up at the meeting. This is not something they'll know of, and they'll get spooked by it. But we're not there to assassinate them or hurt them. We're just there to get the line of communication going. I can be that connector. It's a risky play, but it's all we got at this point. And you need to get ready, be ready yeah. to have a good story for them. If you're still able to support Anzanite in, in, in the stuff that he's doing once you're in that room, there's no point of going in in the first place. I understand. Puts me in a very difficult position, but I do understand. I mean, it's I, I, I don't I don't like it I don't like it either. Like I, I would love there for them to just understand what the UN is, but the only way we're going to get through to them is we can explain your case because if so, as long as they have a common enemy, you guys, then they won't they will they will be inseparable. So we need to clear that first. Yeah. I don't want to kneel for the firekeepers though. We're not going to kneel. No. There's I nothing would, to kneel for I though. Would, the only it thing just feels that way. Of, we all we would have to negotiate, Kyle, is some sort of ceasefire between us and them in the northeast, just so we can help the brothers achieve what they're trying to achieve by rebuilding St. Joe's and giving it a sort of protection. I don't give a shit about St. Joe's, to be quite honest. It's the UN. I, mean, I want them like fucking gone. Yeah, but they were the ones that attacked it. Yeah, you but the I mean? Guardians still supported that, didn't they? And you know, yeah, very but true, that, very but that's true. that's that's like, because you guys have just been stirring around so much shit there. And I know, and you know, is that we we tried settling that, but the Guardians don't know that, yeah. and the line of communication it just for. isn't there. That's what needs to happen first. Okay. You just need to convince them so, and tell them, look, we were we were hired guns, but. Through our conversation that we've had, you come to the understanding is that people are really suffering from all these attacks and you guys wanted to help rebuild it. And then the moment you were ready to do that, that's when the UN dropped a bomb literally on the place, killing everyone and now it's back in ruin again. Now, priority is, is that the people there can see it as a safe place, what it needs to be, but the Guardians are not stepping up to the task and defending it. So the Guardians only supported the bombing of us, in particular, not St. Joe's. No, exactly. As, as a destination. They are okay, supporting okay. the bombing of you. And if that common enemy, you, that connecting element, is not connecting them anymore, that's when we can turn things around. When not, when everyone is not having, you know, just supporting the UN because they have you as an enemy, is then this when the UN becomes vulnerable. I know. I, I I want the meeting. I want you to set up the meeting. That would be good for everyone, for all parties, uh, apart from the UN, of course. But it would be good. Uh, as for the the cult and what Antonite's up to at the moment, uh, we're definitely have to think about it a bit longer. Yeah. And uh, we'll sort that out amongst ourselves. No, no, no. I understand. Once I know more, I'll let you know. First, I need to line of communication with the uh, with the guardians and the fire keeps in the first place. This has been challenging, um, but I'll do my best. Yeah. Once I know everything, and once I know a place and a time, you'll be the first to hear. Okay, that's good to know.
Hey, could you help me with these Oh shit, hang on, my gun is inside. Hang on, man. Actually... Ow. Okay, game. There we go. Here, let me get ba here. Let me bandage you. All right, man. Well, you get the zombies. I'll bandage you. Yep. What's your name, man? I think we're good. I'm Indy. Oh, nice to meet you. My name is uh, Jim. I run around here every day. I'm not friends with anybody. All right, well, um, I'm around here a little bit more often. I'm trying to rebuild the place a little bit, uh, so I'm just lighting some torches. But nice to meet you, Jim. Buddy. Yeah, nice to meet you. Do you want some help? Uh, well, yeah, I'm, I'm figuring out... I'm not sure if we can... Um, is there any way you can add resin? Oh, shit. I didn't see him. Oh, boy. Nope. Uh, nope. 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 I did not see you guys. Hands up now. All right. All right. What? Who the fuck are you guys? Doesn't matter. Stay quiet. Either of you says anything, you die. Got it? Don't try anything funny. Don't make any mistakes. Make the tiniest little mistake and I will cut your fucking head off. Do you understand? Someone tie the second one up. Alright, we observed two of you moving. Where's the second? Alright, right. I can stop being coy now. You got trapped, motherfucker. Get in the fucking barn, let's go. Let's go this way, this way, follow me. We're going the opposite way. We're not staying here. Let's go. So like I said, buddy, you were walking here with a friend. We saw you. Where is he? Because if he turns up on us, the last thing you're going to want is for me to be stood near you. I will use you as cover. Am I allowed to talk now? You can yes. talk when I'm talking Security, to you. Yeah, you're fine. All right. Well, I was not Where's here you? with anybody. I was there doing the torches by myself. If there was someone else in the town, it was without my knowledge. All right. I like your Ushanka. Oh, you mean mine? Yeah. Yeah, you. Oh, thank you. Some people can pull it off. Some people can't. You know. Ah, uh, yeah. It's usually part of what we wear. You know who we are, right? Nope. Take a guess. Well, the black armbands mean a lot to me, but I'm not here to uh, put you in boxes and I'm not sure you guys fit in. So you're telling me you've been rolling around up here in the northeast for the last year, a couple of weeks now, causing trouble and havoc, fucking up with people and shooting them up, and you have no idea who we are and why we're here? You sure you have the right person? Oh, I know I've got the right person. Okay. This way. You're not gonna tell me at all why you actually took me? I mean, if I'm so I'm so well known with you guys, I've hoped to at least gain a little bit of, a re of the respect that you guys tell me what's going on, right? Let's just say you're not a very liked person around here. <laughs> You've made quite a bit of enemies, Mindy. All right. The reason why. You, uh, you're in this situation it's quite simply because you've been a very naughty boy and some people are not very happy and are willing to pay large amounts of stuff for you. Ah, I see where this is heading. So you guys are on the payroll of the UN, huh? 
Who's Pyro? Or I'm no one. Why do I feel like Just mercenaries. Just mercenaries. As the GMN would say, it's nothing personal, just business. Right. So I'm curious about that. <clears throat> of all the people you uh, decided to go after that you'd have a problem with, why do you win? Because overall, they've done quite a lot of good things. Yeah, they're good at uh, they're good at advertising the good, rather than and then the bad, of course. Uh, well, I mean, the UN actually, you know, if you're actually willing to listen to what I have to say, the UN have actually been uh, very involved in holding up people going through the Nevaya Petrovka and actually robbing them, believe it or not. A lot of those stories came through my ears. So we decided to check them out, and sure enough, they laid an ambush, waiting for people to come through, shooting anyone that was there, claiming then, um, well, that it wasn't them, which of course is nonsense. Then, um, you know, after uh, the whole situation with St. Joseph was going on, I, did, I called for a meeting with the GMN, got them to cease fire in St. Joseph so that it could stop becoming the target because they had an issue um, with the Guardians, which was contracted by Johnny Run. And when in the middle of those talks, they ambushed us. Of course, saying that they didn't fire the shot, which was absolutely ridiculous. We saw them literally doing it. Three of them got killed. Uh, only one of us um, was taken as a casualty. And that's when the, the peace talks continued, and that's when they decided to bomb a place like St. Joseph's, which is, which is supposed to be the capital of peace, which I was trying to make it once again. But of course, they spin it in such a way is that they make it out to is that we're the bad guys, we're the UN, we wear the blue helmets. We're the good guys, remember? In the meantime, they're the slimy fucks who just want to be on top of the fucking mountain. Does that answer your question for you? Yeah, it does. I always like to hear both perspectives. Obviously, I know what they've said, now I know what you What conclusion it draws me to it doesn't matter in the slightest. But it's always nice to know. Go off to the right. This way. You guessing in here? Mm -hmm. That is correct. Hello guys. things how to go this way um, but are you really what you stand for is not no actually not but what you stand for is something that we can't tolerate somebody who spreads propaganda spreads lies and also aligns himself with the GMN who are now working with the cult it's something we can't stand for and that's why you're in this position today I see so what you actually meant to say is, I'm in the way of what you were trying to do, and that's why you're doing this? What are we trying to do? We are defending not Nevaya, protecting civilians, and you spread lies, propaganda. So what are, what's your goal here? You're trying to annex our land that doesn't belong to you, that has no, you have no claim to, and all you do is cause us grief and lie to our allies? Well, I mean, lies or not, we all know that's not true. You're just sitting there at the top of your tower, at the top, claiming you're protecting the Northern Highway, and here you are bombing St. Joseph's. Isn't that ironic? That's so ironic. What's ironic about it, you took that from the Guardians. The Guardians did not sanction that meeting, that's their territory. 
and they happen to be okay with what happened there. Kyle has personally praised us. First of all, the Green Mountain Omas have been battering it for weeks. Attacking it under order. So you brought them there? No. Listen. Attack attacking it under order from Keith Johnny Rock. After, after they were attacking, which they were about to attack, I reached out to them, sat them down and told them that if they have an issue with the Guardians, that need to bring it up to the Guardians and leave St. Joseph's alone. That's what happened. That's when you guys ambushed. That's when we killed three of your men. There was only two of us there, and we did not fire. <sighs> whatever you want to tell yourself. We were overwatching the meeting. You, 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 then... you can believe whatever you want to believe, but us shooting into a group of ten people is not what we do. <laughs> no, but putting a grenade right in the middle of them is. Please, don't, 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 yeah, don't you get off your you high horse, men, okay? You brought, you brought GMN to think the GMN were on a warpath there, there anyway. Try, like you, you can say whatever you want to justify yourself, but it, it, it's absolutely ridiculous. And now ridiculous. they're Atom, the Revelator's little friend. You are literally aligning yourself with the cult. Do you not see what? what you're I'm not aligning myself in the cult just because you bombed us, and we came to an agreement. It's that just Saint Joseph. Let me fucking finish. Life. If you're gonna at least give me the fucking dignity, Mac, if you're gonna bring Mac me here, to, him. to fucking fuck. shut up. At least let me fucking finish if you have the dignity mouth to Mouth off me again. Here. Mouth off again. I dare you to mouth off again, Mindy. You like this, don't you? Thank you. Am I enjoying you getting punched? Yeah. That's what happens to people who spread propaganda and lies. <laughs> continue. Oh, I can continue? You're okay. here. You're here under trial. Alright. Well, what I was saying is they were on already on a warpath, on a raiding party to St. Joseph's, okay? Now, while they were doing that, I managed to reach out to them on the radio. And instead of them actually trying to lynch through the area, instead, we constructed a meeting talking about how St. Joseph should be let at peace because it doesn't stand in the way of what their, what their beef is with the Guardians. We all agreed on that. That's when you guys attacked. That's after we repelled that attack. We got bombed in the middle of the peace meeting. And now, all of a sudden, I am being associated with the cults. Just because I was actually trying to be sensible and talking through a peace treaty with the GMN doesn't mean is that I'm all of a sudden associated with the cult. Propaganda or not, you don't may not believe to what I'm telling you, but you know what you did. I don't know what he's saying. He's too far away from me. All right. Well, I'm here to tell you that we find you guilty, treason against the coalition, oh, that's, firing with convenience, the cult, and I sentence you to death. What is your name, dude? We need to know that I'm Savage. Savage. Alright, nice to meet you, Savage. Yep. Nice to meet you, too. Alright. Show us the way, good captain. Oh, captain, my cap. Oh, oh captain, my captain. Oh, I'm sick right now, by the way. I'm what? also sick. Yeah. How'd you turn sick? Say that, so, right? I may have eaten some entrails because I was starving. For fuck's sake. Uh, right. Downhill, south, right. north, north. At a pine tree, north at a pine tree. Like that little three stooges routine we just did, we've been planning on it for like the whole last 30 seconds. It's okay, movie. Uh, that's, that's the radio. Radio. <laughs> <laughs> Traveling should kill the movie. 